with that we have our next keynote session uh, a presenter is already here so let me invite and welcome mr vineet handa founder and ceo kaizen to uh, who's joined us here thank you so much and uh, we want to watch are they short lived so over to you mr handa hi uh, thank you khyati thank you karan naval anurag sir and every the the whole exchange for media team for inviting me for this keynote i have been thinking about what i should talk about which the 30 under 30 or the young generation today probably doesn't know they know pr very well and therefore they are part of this list today uh congratulations in advance to all of them who going to win tonight today evening uh you are the guys who going to shape up the future of pr industry in india and therefore you know something which i have learned uh in last 22 years of my pr journey i thought of sharing that and this topic is very simple it's a very common topic a very simple topic but i thought it's important for all of us to know in the race of winning in the race of reaching highest as early as possible my topic is very relevant that shortcuts are short lived i've always felt and then and honestly i have gone through this phase uh, uh, many a times where you would want to uh, put in the least efforts and get the best results that's a great uh, objective to have uh, before you plan but in that we always tend to take shortcuts and i think that's something which is which does not work so the way i really see i mean i i just feel uh, uh you know if i if we really look at it uh, have we ever heard anybody saying uh, that uh, you know uh, uh, so 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 for an example if i build on a pillar uh, so the way i really see it is that there are three important pillars for for anybody in the pr industry uh pillar one is uh, probably relationship we cannot take out relationship from public relations right it's all about relationship uh the second important pillar is probably knowledge and third most important pillar is attitude so if if i really talk about the pillar of relationship uh which is the core of what we are trying to do and and i start with i don't think we have ever heard people talking about that i have built this relationship in 2 minutes or 2 days or 2 months everybody comes and say hey i have built this relationship over and over again over the years so 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 if we really look at it relationship which is the pillar of our industry it takes years to build it and there is no shortcut to it there is no shortcut to it so what we actually do is is put in the efforts the right efforts time and time again to build that relationship if i go further deep in our as a relationship as a as a big pillar what do we have we have stakeholders and these stakeholders i divide in three parts uh a stakeholder which is our internal stakeholders our teams our subordinates our bosses uh and the support system inside then the other stakeholders which are our uh, uh stakeholders which is where we we go back and uh where, which we call as clients now clients are what clients are uh, uh clients are these uh, are, are are these clients companies no these clients are people and you build do you build relationship with the companies no you build relationship with people and i think that's what is most important to understand how do you build those relationship with the clients and third most important aspect of our whatever we do is relationship is industry industry and when we talk about industry it's media it's surrounding industry in today's time probably that has increased there is new media there are there are uh, industry bodies there are influencers so so that the, the whole gamut of people around there 
And I think when we go through all of these, the one common link is all of these are people and, and we build relationships with people. Now, when I pick up a, a, a very simple uh, thing, how do you make clients for life? It's relationships, right? How do you build those relationships? It's trust. Now, how do you get that trust? Is when you deliver time and again. And at the same time, even if you don't deliver, there is a transparency. There is honesty. There is, there is a clarity that this will work, this will not work. And I think that's what. The other part of this relationship is understanding what people want, what clients want. And I think in, in today's industry, we all are, are intelligent enough to understand what is doable and what is not doable. So therefore, I think uh, very, very important is, is relationship. And, and I strongly feel that relationships cannot be built overnight. There is no one night stand relationship in PR. We have to work hard. We have to work honestly with the people, all stakeholders. And, and that's the core of relationship. And it's, it's a long-term game. It's not a short-term game. So I think that's very important to understand. I'm happy to uh, speak one-on-one -on, -one on this topic, uh, but this is, this is something which is very close to my heart. Uh, relationship. I have, I have whatever Kaizen has been, whatever Vineet Handa has built in is on the basis of relationship. And the next thing which I really want to talk about when it comes to relationship, uh, when it comes to uh, shortcuts, is is knowledge. Now, if you really look at the three pillars which I am talking about today, they are all interlinked. Whether we talk about relationship, whether we talk about knowledge. Knowledge is a very important part of relationship. If you bring knowledge, you bring value on the platform, all your stakeholders will value you and take you seriously. And that will help you to build relationship. Now, getting knowledge is not easy. Getting knowledge is not easy. I was hearing the previous panel, everybody talked about why reading is important, why research is important. And I think research is very important as a PR professional. If you have to be successful, research. Research on industry, research on competition, research on people. All of that helps you to build relationship. All of that helps you to create your own personality, a personality which is, which is backed by knowledge which is backed by information, when you create plans, when you create documents, all of this research helps you. We are the closest who work with the leadership of any of our clients. I have never seen an uh, advertising guy having an access to the CEO, the, the access we have, right? And therefore, knowledge is very important for us. It's, it's a make it or break it for anybody in the PR industry. I think this is one skill, one important part for anybody to sort of, uh, you know, put in the maximum efforts, gain as much as knowledge. And it doesn't happen overnight. You have to build in a habit of reading, habit of writing, habit of picking up, habit of research. And that's how you will inculcate the knowledge, inculcate the, the habit of getting knowledge from across. I think relationship and knowledge, both are interlinked. A greater your knowledge will help you to do better for your clients and therefore build better relation, relationships. Now, third thing, which is attitude. Now, attitude, if you really look at, cuts across all the pillars, all across, all industries, everywhere. What is that attitude? 
that attitude is to attitude is of a doer. Our attitude is of leading. And why I'm saying leading? Because the 30 under 30 winners, we see them as leaders for tomorrow. So, so how do you build that culture? What the, the whole thought process around attitude? Most important, and I always talk about this, when you win, when you grow, when you're doing well, you should always have your feet on ground and head on your shoulder. Now, feet on ground in, in literal terms means being grounded. But feet on ground also means bringing experience, going places, meeting people, you know, doing on your own. You're a hardworking guy. I think that's what feet on ground is, means for me. Head on your shoulder. It, any growth, any victory, any success should not get into your head. You are still a doer. And that's what will help you to grow. That's what will help you to learn. Learning is a very important part of our attitude. Learning is, is not a skill. Learning is an attitude. Unlearning is an attitude. You cannot learn until unless you unlearn. And I think that's very important. Being a team player is an attitude. Leading a team is an, is an attitude. And I see that is another very important part of anybody's success in life. You could be a team lead, you could be a CEO tomorrow, but understand until unless the, the bottom of the pyramid is not happy or not learning from you or not seeing you as, as a leader, it doesn't help. And that's what the attitude is all about. How do you take everybody along? How do you help people to grow? I think that's something which is important when it comes to the attitude. I go back from attitude to knowledge. I said learning is an attitude and therefore for knowledge, learning is very important. Therefore, I said client relationships are very important. Knowledge is important for a relationship. Therefore, attitude is important for a relationship. Keeping feet on the ground is very important for a relationship. Keeping head on your shoulder is very important for a relationship. Relationship is a two-way street. And in that street, in that two-way street, you have to take the first step. It's you who have to take the first step. And I think that's the core of relationship. I think I, I, I would want to uh, sort of connect all of this together and say all these three things will never have a, ha will happen overnight. You'll have to work hard for all of this. You have to work consciously on all of these three pillars and then take it forward. And I'm sure if these three pillars are with you, you're going to be a great person first and success will follow you. I think that's that's what I have to say. There's only one shortcut which works. There's only one shortcut which works is a hard work. And we should all think about it. When it comes to hard work, shortcut works. And I'll give you my real life example. Uh, my first job in PR, this was in year 2000 to 2003. I was working under a few of my seniors. Fortunately, unfortunately, those seniors moved out within the six months of me joining. And I handled that Delhi branch with six months of experience. Of course, my bosses in, in Mumbai were looking after, looking at me very closely. But what made them trust me? Because in those six months, I worked for 12 months. I used to put in my efforts of 14 hours or 16 hours a day. Honestly, I'm not a big supporter of all of that. Those were the times which required that. 
there was no technology. You had to put in hard work to do the photocopies, to distribution of press releases, to writing them, to even tracking the news, cutting those newspaper clippings, pasting it on, on those letterheads and things like those. So, but it helped, it helped me grow. And therefore I personally feel even today, if you're a hardworking guy, you can pass pace your career. You all know your boundaries. You all know your areas and domains and expertise. If you can, if you want, hard work is the only answer for a success. Thank you, everyone. It was great to be here. I, you know, it was a short keynote, but I think these three pillars which I spoke about is his essence of my career. I still don't say that I'm a successful guy, but whatever I have done, these are the three things which I could share on from my experience. Thank you, everybody. And a big congratulations to all the winners today evening. I look forward to see all your names bright and shining and keep winning, keep winning. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.